Hey guys, welcome back to my series of custom challenge runs in the Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb edition. Today's challenge is called Cain and Abel. So of course I am playing as Cain, which means I have a Luckfoot, and I have Abel, and I also have Mom's Knife, and the rules for this uh, challenge are that uh, I cannot throw my knife. So if I want to shoot something, that's uh, that's Abel's territory. If I want to stab something, that's Cain's territory. So I think this will be interesting. Uh, it should should create some some strange dynamics here. I'm gonna try my best, I should note, to um, shoot the poop, Abel. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to not throw the knife, but with the uh, keyboard setup I have right now, it's very awkward for me sometimes, so it's pretty likely that I'm going to accidentally, uh, you know, break that rule anyway. Just trying to, oh god, <laughs> this is weird. Is, trying to shoot stuff is going to be a trip here. Oh, come on, get it. There we go. That was the, the fast and dirty way to do that. Now that there's only one, I feel like I can probably get able to uh, take care of that guy. Yes, okay. There's a heart that's necessary. I should note I fought Gluttony earlier, uh, like in the first room that I had to use to do the cheat engine. It was a pretty not exciting fight. I think I got a penny out of it, as well as some hearts, so no big deal there. Um, let's see here. Should I do this? I'm gonna like shoot that and then. Hang on, this way. Perfect. Using that able strategy. So I'm gonna try to figure in able to my strategies as much as possible, even though that's not really the way my brain works. So a lot of the time, I suspect I'll just be trying to stab stuff. That's just kind of how this is gonna go. But yeah, I've, I've Kane and able. I can utilize both. Stab that guy to death, no problem. So this is like, it's kind of like the melee challenges, if you guys have seen any of those. I did one by myself and also one with Zen in a head-to-head. -head. Uh, so it's kind of like that, except uh, in melee, I actually give my, give myself, um, what do you call it, The like a lot of attack flies and shit. So, oh my god, Polyphemus, that's awesome actually, because that'll make my knife quite a bit more powerful uh, when I'm running into things. That's a that's super lucky, I can't believe it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so you know, you might be thinking, oh this is just a reprisal of melee with an able added on, but it really isn't when you think about it because the lack of um, you know, the extra attack followers is really making this much more difficult. Usually I can rely on my attack fly to attack most things. Not the case here. Okay, able, come on. Do some work for me here, buddy. Good job. Keep fighting the good fight. Oh god. I wasn't looking at myself at all. This is, uh, this is tough. Oh shit. I forgot that this Larry Jr. can shoot at me. Come on, just stab him. If you're able, you do something, man. Oh god. Okay. This is much harder than I thought it was gonna be, actually. But, uh, I think Polyphemus is a good choice. I should've just added that to myself, but hey. Whatever works. I got it on the first floor, so that works too. I would really love to have a bomb so I could access that tinted rock, but it's just not going to happen. The extra health I got out of that fight is great, of course. We'll use that to survive a little bit longer. Yeah, I was going to say come at me, bro, to that spider, but it was I forgot the phrase for too long, and then it just did it. Alright, now that bomb needs to... Yes, perfect. Kill the other guy. Alright, um... I don't think I'm going to go into that curse room, at least not yet. Rosary, I'll take it for the extra spirit heart, so that... Though that is going to kind of ruin shops for us as we move forward. A while ago I rolled a rosary and somebody was like, Oh my god, you rolled the rosary! And I was like, yeah, I, I rolled the rosary. Because rosary, like, not only is three spirit hearts kind of not as good as most passive upgrades, like, I'm pretty sure if I got a cube of meat at this point in the game, that would save me more than three spirit hearts over the course of the game. You know, it's not, not the greatest. But also, in case you're not aware, um, the... Alright. Perfect. Yes, Abel, go for it. Um, so I had to think so hard about that high level Isaac strategy there. Um, and I'll shoot the poop on my way out with Abel. What was I just talking about? Oh, the, uh, if you're not aware. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is bad. <laughs> Come on, Abel, you could do it. Okay. It's weird because, like, Abel. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. <laughs> I, I knew I couldn't do it. I tried. Uh, the, the rosary, I'm going to finish my train of thought here. The rosary is a, um, 
it, it makes the Bible appear in the shop very, very often. So, perfect. Good job, Abel. So, especially picking up this early means that, like, a lot of shops, like, shops have just become 80% more useless to me because a lot of shops are just going to contain the Bible instead of anything useful or cool. Um, which kind of sucks, but I will, like, I felt like I needed the Spirit Hearts right now or else I stood a good chance of not making it very far at all. I'm going to use the two of spades here and hang on to strength just in case I need it for a room that will give me an extra heart. And now I have a ton of keys, which is nice. Oh. There we go. I knew I could kill that guy quick. Oh my fucking god, I can't believe that that third thing hit me. The, the first two hits kind of made sense, but the third one is like, come on, man. I'm not sure if Tears Up actually applies to Abel. I don't believe it does. Uh, let's have Abel shoot these fires. Well, I carefully consider my options here, but I'm thinking no on both of these, unfortunately. Gumpy's head is kind of tempting because I don't have a spacebar item. And it would be, you know, one item closer to turning into a cat. But the downside being, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, come on. Kill it. Fuck. This is a bad room, man. Fuck. The downside to picking up the cat would be that I'm almost dead in this room is basically what I was going for there, though now I have a much better example of that. This is fucked, man. Okay, Fly is dead. Abel, take care of that buddy, that dude for me. Come on. No. No. They're coming for me, Abel. Save me. Kill it. God damn it. I don't want to get close to this guy because he'll almost certainly hit me, so I might as well just keep on trying to get Abel to do my dirty work for me. Oh, I hit him once. Okay. This is so much harder than I thought it would be getting Abel to actually hit shit. Okay, this is this is good. I like this. Yeah, stay right there. I can't believe how many fucking hits Abel is taking. Abel, you're the worst. Come on. Come on. Do some damage. Please. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. Wrong way. Ah. Accidentally threw the knife. Total accident. Like I said, that shit's gonna happen. Alright, actually did manage to take out an entire greed head with Abel. This is... I can't even express how much harder it is than I thought it was going to be to actually hit shit with Abel. Because I can't... Part of the problem is that I can't, like, shoot a tear at a specific time like I would if it was me shooting. Uh, because... The, that would just make me throw the knife all the time, so I just have to have him rhythmically shooting and then try to make that work, uh, which is much harder. And also, I have to shoot backwards with him, so it's that reverse controls bullshit all over again. There's another spirit art, much needed. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here. Have a fucking standoff with these guys. Come on, Abel! God damn it. I tried to move to get Abel into position again, and he just... I got hit. <laughs> the basic idea here. Come on, this is shitty. Abel can't actually hit these guys. Okay, we're gonna have to go to the other side, I suppose. Go, Abel, go! Kill him! You can do it! Any day now. Okay, it's two down. This guy's actually still in range. Good job. Good job. Keep going, Abel. No, Abel. You were so close. Maybe you weren't so close. I don't know. Okay, I could hit this guy. Oh, he's out of his prison. I can honestly cannot believe that didn't happen earlier. I knew that was a possibility. I was like, why are these guys just staying in the middle? I guess they have to go for the corners. I thought they could just jump over pits, you know, wholesale. Uh, wow, that sucks. I would really love to have a bomb to get a bomb and the contents of a tinted rock. That was awesome. Range up is not useful at all, but I'll take it. Why not? We got the bomb that I was just bitching about not having, so there we go. Got another key out of that tinted rock. Not what I was hoping for at all. I was really thinking that was going to be some more spirit hearts. So let's move over this way. And... See if we can find the item room. Oh, man. Terrifying. These guys are good, though, for the able fights. Like, anything that does these split shots, because I can just stand still. Except that now able, we're all at a standstill now. Oh, come on! Okay. Abel? Gonna have to ask you to cooperate with me here. Don't. This fly is gonna get me. Oh, sh. That, that's what I should have done in the first place, actually. Okay, come on, Abel. 
He doesn't move on a one-to-one -one with uh, your character. You have to move quite a bit sometimes to get him to actually move. That's annoying. I'm getting better at this, I think. Not at the kind of rate that's going to allow me to actually beat the game this way, I don't think. But, you know, there is improvement happening here. Okay, this is scary as hell. Go! Okay. Okay. Yes, good job, Abel. Perfect. Uh, I can't actually... There we go. I actually do have to hit them in the back when I'm not allowed to throw my knife. Um, the black bean, I'll definitely take it. I'm getting hit a lot, so I might as well do some damage back. Um, again, don't really want to go into the curse room because... Well, for a couple reasons. One, the curse room, like, most of the really great stuff you can get... Oh, come on. He was already dead when he shot that. Anyway, uh, most of the things you can get out of the curse room that are really good would be totally useless to me right now, like any kind of damage up or anything. Polyphemus Mom's Knife, when I'm not like primarily using my knife, is like, that's enough damage. I don't need any more on my knife. Um, so any kind of damage up. Brimstone would obviously be pointless. Sacred Heart would be pointless. Um, oh man. Bombfly. Husk. It's not good. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. There's so many. I can't hurt them with my knife. Abel has to do it. Oh, no. There's no way out. I guess I could have, like, pointed my knife the other way and hoped I could sneak out, but I'm not sure if that would have been <clears throat> even the wisest decision. I need to get to the husk to... Oh, shit. This could easily kill me. Okay, there we go. At least the boss is dead. He dropped a lot of health, actually, so if I can get over the to that, then I can probably live through this. That was scary. Oh, God. I have to get able to just shoot one of these guys enough to kill it and that will spark a chain reaction that should get me out of here alive. Come on, Abel, yes! Okay, there's some more dead at least. That's, I can deal with three bomb flies. Five bomb flies was a little bit excessive, I think. Come on, come on. Duh. I'm doing the same thing I was doing in the reverse uh, controls challenge, where I'm like, okay, I don't want to deal with you know, d going up and down as well as side to side. So I'm just making Abel shoot, uh, you know, left to right. Because I can remember that. I can remember to reverse left to right, but not if I'm also rem remembering up to down. I can't believe that these guys didn't take each other out in a chain reaction, so I have to take them out one by one. This is crazy. Any day now, this bomb fly will go down. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Abel, no! Help me, Abel. Oh my god. What is going on here? He's like, like I said earlier, he's not a. Abel's motion is not one to one with your own, so there's some finicky controls with him sometimes. Okay, definitely don't want the tick. Even though I'm pretty sure this is a Satan run, not a, uh. Um. Cathedral run. So I got the stars. I'm gonna use that on the next floor immediately to go to the item room without having to worry about keys or anything like that. Anarchist cookbook, yeah, that's exactly what I need. Some more chaotic garbage that I have to worry about while I'm also trying to use my brain in a different way. So I'm probably never going to use the anarchist cookbook unless I'm trying to, like, save a bomb on something to bomb a tinted rock and I can just run out of the room if it doesn't work out. Okay, come on. No, 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 no. Ah, I accidentally shot my knife and that almost, like, got me hit because I then couldn't use it to stab the poop. Okay, come on. Come on! This is gonna take forever. Oh, I, for I forget sometimes that I can actually stab these guys. The bomb flies got me into a bad habit there. There we go, that was much easier. There's a- oh, you know what? I should just grab that before I forget about it, because I have plenty of spear arts. Pretty sure I lost one earlier on, so there are going to be, like, inevitably 20 to 30 people incredibly angry with me in the comments. That's just kind of inevitable sometimes. I've got enough to think about in this run already. But, yeah, just know that if you've already left a comment about it, please stop doing that. Just watch the video before you yell at me about something, because I'm probably going to figure it out. Or, you know, like, look at the top comments, because usually if there was a mistake that that serious, Everybody is talking about it, so you don't need to add to the noise. It just makes me sad. So anyway, these guys shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, just walk into the knife. 
Thank God for Polyphemus, man. I don't think these guys would die as soon as they touch my knife if I didn't have that. Just making this much more possible. Let's see. Let's go down this way. So basically at this point, like, the the shops have held no interest to me, so I'm pretty much just trying to find the boss at this point, I think. the uh, That's all that I need. Okay, this is scary, because, oh no, getting this close to these guys is always, oh man, my fingers slipped off of the stupid arrow key, damn it. And for once, like, or not even for once, like, I don't think a single time I've accidentally shot my knife in a way that's helped me. Like, that, while my knife was gone there, I could have used it to stab something, but it just flew off in another direction instead. Alright, so that was not very eloquently handled room. Uh, this is not going to be either, I suspect. Four greed heads, too much. Okay, able man, you gotta... Standing in all the wrong places. Oh, come on. Okay, kill the poison one. Excellent. Poison one's dead. Just two more. That one on the bottom is taking some serious Abel damage. I never, I thought Abel did more damage than this, but I guess greed heads do have a lot of health. But seriously, like even the bomb flies took forever. This is, I wish there was some way to augment Abel a little bit. It would be a much more interesting challenge if Abel actually did like normal amounts of damage instead of these tiny little bits. But this is this is a uh, substantially changed my perspective on Abel. I think he's a much worse item now because I was, I always kind of had it in my head that he did a lot more damage than he actually does. But well, in this case, like, he hardly ever hits his target anyway. And when he does, it's not really useful. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's definitely spend a bomb to get to that card. What do we have? The Joker. Cool. So I'll fight the boss. If I don't get a Devil or Angel room, then I'll just use the Joker to get one anyway. This guy's going to drop money. The Pinata Hollow. Excellent. Gotta have surgical precision here. I guess not so much. I was trying to, like, the first one was great because I managed to take out the minimum number of segments I could to kill it. The other one was not so much. Uh, so we did get a devil room actually. So we'll hang on to the Joker card until the next floor. What do we got here? Two things that I do not really want. I think I feel like Brother Bobby would be kind of against the spirit of the challenge. And also, I don't want to spend a heart on him, but. He would have been very useful. He would have allowed me to shoot the same direction I was facing. But yeah, like I said, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of trying to get Abel to do stuff for me. Because I'm pretty sure Abel is just like a reversed brother Bobby. So at that point there would be no reason to get Abel to shoot anything. I'll just replace him. Okay. okay. Oh, come on. What do we got in here? Ten bombs. Why not? Bombs have been, you know, not necessarily a sore spot for me, but I haven't had an excess of bombs in this run, so it's nice to have a bunch now. Oh, man. I was really sure that that heart was tied to that mask, but it wasn't. So that was a bad room for basically, like, no fault of my own. There's no way to hit that mask without getting hit by that surprise attack. There we go. 15 cents, might as well pop into the shop and... You know, not by the Bible. Never mind, it's greed. Alright. This is actually really bad. Okay, excellent. Fish head is great. That will do a little bit more passive damage whenever I get hit. The steam sale will make it so that shops are more worthwhile later on. Uh, even though we're only ever going to get one more shop. But at least that shop is guaranteed now that we have, we've had greed on this floor. These guys... I don't like this. I'm trying to get into a position where their flies won't hit me. Perfect! Oh man, that was so good. Oh, come on! That fly teleported into me when I was already occupying that space. Can't do that. Alright, I'm getting whittled down pretty severely here. All these little silly things are adding up a little bit. Whenever you're trying to melee with mom's knife, I find that a lot of things hit you that don't really make sense, like a, an enemy will actually be able to produce bullets after you've already killed it and shit like that. There we go, excellent. Alright. 
This seems like a job for Abel, kind of. If Abel can... Oh my god, Abel, you're not moving when I move. It's your one job is to move when I move. You're doing it wrong. Okay. Yeah, come up here. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Dead. Sorted. Let's get into here. More money, more keys, more bombs. Doing well on all fronts, except for health. Oh, man, what was I thinking? I seriously did not realize what was going to happen there until I already did it. What the hell? That was that was a bizarre miscalculation. I'm getting out of this room. I have no interest in dealing with this garbage. The bomb flies just they take way too long to kill. Might as well lay a bomb here, get some spirit arts. Yeah, and I was hoping it would actually hit an enemy as well. Fistula is definitely a job for Kane here. Can't believe I actually took damage in that room. It felt like such an easy room, but something went terribly wrong. Let's head onward. Oh man, it's my worst nightmare. Fast bomb fly. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh jeez. I wonder how many hits Abel is going to take to kill this thing. Oh no! <laughs> I was trying to get Abel to shoot at it more. Alright. Now I'm in a really bad situation. I'm almost out of health. Let's fight the wretched. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, man. That's right. The wretched has such a weird hitbox for the, the knife. It's so hard to stab him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. He's dead. Oh, no! How did that spider get me? It's impossible. Alright, well, anyway, that was a pretty crazy run. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be for a number of reasons. One, Abel is much less specific to aim than I thought he was. Two, Abel does way less damage than I thought he did. And B, I am way stupider than I thought I was. But anyway, that was fun anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have a suggestion for your own challenge, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.